So Carla asks, uh, five sexual with a very close self pres. Mm -hmm. She's an ENFP. My growth path is definitely continuing to kick my extroverted thinking out of the way to serve my introverted feeling rather than the other way around. But my sexual and self pres instincts are also at odds with each other, specifically with creative and esoteric work not being a realistic or practical pursuit. Raised, she was raised by a self pres one. How can I make sure that self pres and extroverted thinking don't hijack my sexual and introverted feeling and let go of the fear that the world is overwhelming and create esoteric pursuits and creating ex creative exoteric pursuits won't be sustainable and meet my real world needs. Do you both okay. understand the question? I do. Okay. I think so. You go I, first. Sometimes reading out okay. loud is not my strength. <laughs> um, so, uh, so since I know you well, Carla, um, I would say that, uh, Continue to give yourself permission to be in your creative flow. Give yourself permission to be in your introverted feeling. Um, pursue all of those things that are your growth path in, in, as an ENFP and as a sexual five. Um, and also, don't forget that as a person who is as into growth as you are, because I know how into growth you are, um, there's going to be a next step and that is in the balancing of your introverted feeling and your extroverted thinking Which is continue to pursue your creativity continue to pursue uh, the things that are more esoteric and also Don't forget to balance them with a practical application something that will help you sustain your life Which I think is both extroverted thinking and self pres right both of those things are about life sustenance so it's not a matter of pushing those away all the time, at least from my perspective. I don't think you need to think about it in terms of pushing your TE away or extroverted thinking away. It's a matter of giving your, perpetually giving yourself permission to be in that creative, introverted feeling space and then figuring out ways to balance your extroverted thinking by bringing it in, by asking how can I amalgamate this creativity into something that also has an impact in the world that's also effective it also helps me um, sustain, like, is sus helps me create a sustainable life. Because if you're only ever in your introverted feeling, right? Uh, not only are you not honoring your other functions, but also you will be untethered, right? Like you'll, um, what is the phrase uh, um, of no earthly value? What's the phrase? So heavenly minded, you're of no earthly value. Right. So one of the challenges that introverted feeling has to watch out for, especially when it's in an ENFP, is being so heavenly minded, right? So up here in the abstract that that earthly value piece um, isn't, isn't represented. And as an ENFP, as you go through your growth process, you're going to actually get more and more practical. That's actually where you go. Now, if you never give yourself permission to be creative, then you die a little inside. And that's why we tell ENFPs, make sure you get into introverted feeling, make sure you get into that authentic space, make sure that you're in a place where you're, you're doing things that are highly creative and very expressive, because otherwise you just die a death of a thousand cuts and that's no good. But once you've given yourself permission to be there and you feel like you have a strong relationship to that creative process, then now you have to plug in those more practical elements. So it's not like you never go there. It's just you go there after you go to the creative and lock that piece in. And if you feel like you're there, if you feel like you're at a place where you give yourself full permission to be in that abstract, esoteric, creative place, now don't kick the extroverted thinking away. Um, and I suspect don't think the self, kick the self-preservation away. Allow it to balance you out and allow it to give you that ballast of something that's a little bit more, because then you'll have an impact in the world. It won't just be for you. It won't just be for you to be able to be in your stuff. It'll also be something that you can share, uh, will give you rootedness, will give you a through line, and will um, be something you can uh, bring to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say exactly the same thing. And I think from, you know, in Enneagram language, um, sexual fives tend to express their what you might call introverted feeling through creativity you know so sexual fives are more connected to their feelings than the other fives and they tend to be uh they almost need a creative outlet as a way to express their emotions because they don't feel comfortable expressing their emotions in other ways in more overt or direct ways they, it's almost like they need a a, a medium um, so creativity is great for sexual fives, but totally agree 
um, it also needs to be brought down to earth because sexual fives also can get caught up in the search for like the ultimate, the ideal, uh, and not really be more realistic about what's possible or what has value that isn't like the ultimate ideal, uh, most esoteric, most, uh, you know, uh, abstract thing. And so I would agree with everything you said about needing to be more practical, tether that the creativity and the, both the intellectual part of that and the way that it's expressing something emotional uh, that maybe isn't so comfortable to express too much, but tether that to something that's more in the earthly world, more practical uh, as a challenge, as a way of making the, the, both the sexual instinct and the, uh, the five sort of introversion uh, more bringing that out more. Can I say a little bit of something about Enneagram Roadmap and how yes, I think please. it's a, the perfect accompaniment to what, what I spend a lot of my time doing live. Of um, my, my business partner and I offer live uh, inner work retreats. You know, we offer them mostly in San Francisco, London, Cairo and Egypt, uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil, and, uh, and coming soon China. And in those inner work retreats, we do deep work with the Enneagram. Um, but it, it's, we don't really teach the basics. We kind of get right into the deeper work. So Enneagram Roadmap is like the perfect thing to do if you're wanting to do some deep work as a prelude to kind of doing one of our inner work retreats um, or even doing one of our professional workshops where we help practitioners learn to use the Enneagram in a deep and accurate way. Um, so we'd love to see you at one of our five day programs, but Enneagram roadmap is really a good thing to do first to kind of, first of all, just, you know, enter into the Enneagram, I think in a deep way and how it can be used as a growth tool and what the system is all about. Uh, but also as an introductory workshop, you can do in the comfort of your own home before you come and do something deeper with us, which we'd love to have you do. Well, and to piggyback on that, Joel was mentioning when we flew Beatrice out again, when we were in Florida to record more content, as you mentioned, we've been listening to that all day long because we've been doing some editing on it. And I had forgotten how good those conversations were because we were talking about things that um, we were talking about instinct, instinctual stacks. So um, mm. you know, people have been talking, you know, I'm a self pres sexual or I'm a social, you know, sexual or whatever, self pres um, And then you just mm -hmm. kind of hinted. And then we have the ones that's repressed, right? Mm -hmm. And um, in the Enneagram roadmap, the content that we were creating, uh, you mentioned how it was like a beach ball underneath water that we, were, we do an elaborate balancing act to try to repress it and push it down so we really don't have to see it. And so we talked about those things about stacks and what it looks like to have each of those instincts, what it looks like when one of those is your repressed beach ball underneath the water and what it means to have one right. that's dominant. And so it was, when it explodes. When it explodes, yeah, because that beach ball will come up yes. sometimes and surface and what it looks like when your repressed instinct explodes. I mean, yes. it's just it's such good stuff. So that's now in the Enneagram roadmap or those are, those are being uploaded right now. And they're, um, they're just, it's just really amazing content. So, uh, I, I also would like to put my hat in the ring of uh, recommending that right now, cause we're re-releasing Enneagram roadmap right now. It's a really good time to go check out that program. So 